Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. I'm going to read the question in its entirety and then do my best to answer the question. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. This really, really helps other people. People read the comments, and so when you can leave some constructive advice for people, it really, really helps. Okay, I'm gonna find the email here, and I'm going to read it. Here it is. The person's name is Kyle, and the subject is Trig Identities. And the message reads as follows. Hi, I am finding your videos very helpful, thanks. I am getting the books you recommended. Linear Algebra by Lang, Calculus Made Easy, Elementary Linear Algebra, and then Calculus Early Transcendentals. I wanted to ask you, I'm really behind on trig and trig identities. Could you please recommend a, a good old textbook that explains them well? I'm taking Intro to Calculus course and I'm behind. Managed to get through advanced functions without really learning it. Thank you, Kyle. Interesting. So as far as trig identities, a lot of people have a really, really hard time with them. And a lot of people have different opinions on how to learn them. People develop little memory tricks. Some people like to know how to derive them all, right? There's different ways of approaching it. My advice would be to get pretty much any pre-calc trig book because those have the identities in them. The one that I typically use is the one by Hornsby, Lyle, and I think it's Rockwell. I know it's Hornsby though. That's, that's, the, first, that's the first author that's usually written. And it's a pretty good book because it has all of pre-calc and all of trig. You can go online and you can probably find a used copy. I'll try to leave a link in the description so you can look at the reviews and stuff like that, but you can always get a used copy probably fairly inexpensively if you don't care so much about the edition. And then honestly, the best way to get good at trig identities is to just sit down and do tons of problems, right? Just do problems where you use the identities. Personally, I've never had a problem with trig identities because I think they're really cool. I love trig identities. I'm not really big on the trig graphing. That's, I have a hard time graphing, but um, you know, straight lines, they destroy me. But trig identities, I love the identities. They're so, so cool. And actually, I recently, recent, recently finished two courses on trig. So you can check them out on Udemy. There's links in the description, uh, trig one and trig two. The second course, covers identities heavily, it gives you tons of examples, and there's actually uh, exercises with video solutions to those exercises so you can see the steps. One of the hard things with trig identities that people have uh, learning is the structure, right? Typically, one way to show a trig identity is you start with one side and then you follow a series of steps and you show it's equal to the other side. In my experience, people have a really hard time following that structure. It's almost like a little proof when you're showing a trig identity. And maybe that's why I like them so much because it's like proofs and math. A lot of math is about proofs and I love math. Therefore, I love trig identities. Hopefully my answer is okay. If anyone has any advice for Kyle on how he can get better at trig identities, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.